You can have the most wonderful attitude in the world, but if you don't have the money to hire the teacher, there is no one there to have an attitude. Sweet. Under this law, a school has two years to show improvement or be classified as failing. But here's the catch. Not only does the entire student body have to improve its scores, but so do various subgroups, such as minorities or students who don't speak English. But when so much rides on the scores, educators are under tremendous pressure to show results. Some school systems are so desperate, they're offering teachers and principals cash incentives, dollars, if they can, if they can pump those scores by five percentage points or whatever, whatever is demanded uh, in a given year. This to me is just heartbreaking. So now we have 11 X. How many X's do we want? What's heartbreaking to many parents and teachers is watching their schools disintegrate. In Arlington, Massachusetts, test scores have traditionally been good, but with all the budget cutbacks, many wonder if they can meet the new federal standards for improvement. The intention is there, but you can't educate kids on intention. And I think we're going to see a difference this year. I'm sure we'll see a difference when we look at our test scores. I mean, if we can blow millions of dollars on, uh, on wars meant to defend us against ma weapons of mass destruction that no one can even find, I'd imagine we could hire a few teachers. Instead, many teachers are leaving, often the ones who are needed the most. Ariel Hoover's last day on the job. She taught English as a second language to these immigrant students struggling to catch up. The very students No Child Left Behind is meant to help. But I hope you keep learning English. I hope you love to be here in our country because I think it's a good country. Hoover is quitting Arlington High School because of increasing demands on teachers that make it harder and harder to teach. Of course, for educators, it is at the forefront every single day they walk into a classroom. Whether it's a professor struggling to keep the attention of 500 students, or a kindergarten teacher trying to instill a love of learning, or a choral director trying to instill a bit of harmony. Here you go. My Lord, what a morning. My they all have one thing in common. I love the kids, and if I can give them one experience that will stay with them for the rest of their lives, I've done my job. I'm Judy Muller for Nightline in Austin, Texas.